Hey everybody, today I'll be doing a review and rating of the 2023 Interview Portable Monitor. I'll start with a quick unboxing, then we'll review the relevant features, pros, cons, and pricing. At the end of the video, I'm going to give it an overall rating so that you'll know if it meets your needs. I'm Kevin with Online Shopping My Way. Let's get right into it. Inside there are cables. Those cables are going to include a USB-C to USB, a USB-C to USB-A, and a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. Also inside of the box is an 18 watt power adapter for safe and fast charging. Now of course there's going to be a user manual included, but if you look at the outside of the box, you'll notice there's a QR code. That's where you can go for operating instructions right on YouTube. And last but certainly not least is going to be your monitor. That is going to be a 15.6 inch monitor with smart cover and a protective case and a cleaning cloth. And moving on to our features, there is in fact a 15.6 inch full HD premium IPS screen with 16 by 9 aspect ratio and 178 degree viewing angle. Also included is going to be a low blue light, making it safe and comfortable to use for extended use. It's got a 60 hertz refresh rate, which also helps to reduce eye fatigue, and dual type C ports to supply power and transmit video simultaneously. In addition, there's an adapter for HDMI as well as an adapter for USB-A to USB-C. As an external monitor, you can expect it to perform in mirror mode, extended mode, second screen mode, and even portrait mode, making it ideal for projecting mobile phone displays in high quality. And of course, it does come with a smart cover. The smart cover ultimately is designed to protect against dust and scratches on the screen, but also will turn off the screen automatically, thus the term smart cover when it's closed for battery saving. For features, I'm very impressed with the amount of value for the price here, uh, especially with the promotional discount available right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give this product a five out of five stars for features. Moving on to pros, it is a separate monitor, which does not attach from your laptop. And that is among the sole purposes of this design. And there's certainly a market for it. I just think that the extended monitors that attach to the laptop are awkward and kind of gaudy looking in my opinion plus with the attachment there's hinges and other moving parts so it's really only a matter of time before something breaks and renders it relatively unusable another pro that i noted was that it's more than sufficient for gaming you know watching movies and videos and can easily be used alone as a mobile phone screen and gaming screen for consoles like you know xbox playstation switch whatever that provides a broader range of uses in comparison to the general extended screens that attach directly to the laptop. The next point that I consider a pro is going to be the viewing quality. It's really good for a 15.6 inch HD screen. It's just fine in comparison to my 13.3 inch MacBook Pro. There isn't like a, a noticeable difference in picture quality that would just give me a headache looking back and forth between the screens for you know four to six hours a day. Also, the 15.6 inch screen is taller and kind of evens out the viewing horizon, which would otherwise be noticeably different with a shorter external monitor. When it comes to sound, uh, the next pro is it has dual speakers. So I didn't really consider sound when I was looking for a monitor. There's no delay in the sound and having an external model with its own dual speakers really kind of increases the viewer experience. Now, another aspect of this particular monitor that I consider a pro is just how thin it is. I'm really impressed with that aspect because as wide as the screen is, I figured it would be thicker, you know, but it only comes in, I think it's like four millimeters or 0.2 inches, and it weighs in at like 2.65 pounds. Um, so it, it fits right in my laptop bag, no problem, making portability super easy. And with the smart cover, you don't need to worry about scratches and dust ruining your viewing experience. And you can just put the monitor to sleep by flipping the cover over to save power and then you're on your way. There are quite a few pros to this monitor. And as I stated regarding the features, 
there's a lot of value for the price here. So I'm going to go ahead and give for the pros section five out of five stars for pros. Now moving on to the cons, we'll rate that one as well. I'll be honest, there's only one con that I it just I gotta I gotta mention it, right? The only notable con is the smart cover stand. Okay, the smart cover's function is great, you know, to protect the screen and shut off the screen when you're ready to until you're ready to use it again. Um, but I'm just not sold on the integrity of the cover as a stand for a monitor that is 15.6 inches. That's quite a bit of viewing real estate to be held up by a relatively flimsy, in my opinion, screen cover converted to a stand. I mean, I get it. It works. You know, it keeps things light and streamlined for traveling and being on the go. But I feel like it would have been great to have an option for a lightweight aluminum stand that could be left at home or in an office if you don't want to take it with you. The fact that the cover doubles as a stand and must be positioned just right is a little concerning to me. Uh, that's my one big gripe about it. Okay. So for the con aspect, um, it may sound a little harsh, but I'm only going to give it three stars out of five for the cons, and it's because of that stand. I mean, that is the integrity of the structure responsible for the relative safety of the monitor, and I think it's important. And moving on to class comparison, you know, I took a look at about a dozen other models, including the previous model. So the difference in price between the previous model and this 2023 model was pretty much negligible and totally worth the significant improvements. So especially with technology only moving in one direction, it was worth the 30 to, you know, $40 more uh, to have a monitor that would still be compatible with current and emerging computer models for at least the next two to three years. I will mention that there was also a 4K model from the uh, interview brand, but it was around $300, twice as much, and I can't even tell much difference between my MacBook Pro screen and this screen, um, so I didn't really see the point in upgrading. Also, that 4K is a touchscreen model, and because my MacBook is not touchscreen, it just didn't make any sense, you know, for me to, to go to $300 for a 4K screen. I'm going to go ahead and leave that link down below in the description for you if you want to take a look at it. Maybe you have a touchscreen laptop. Um, I just want to leave that out there just in case you're interested. But for me, I did just go ahead and go um, with this particular model. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this monitor four out of five stars for class comparison. Given that it is dominant with the included features for its size, uh, picture quality, portability, uh, you know, versatility, uh, of use for additional sources like, you know, game consoles, you know, uh, also its price point, which we'll talk about next. Given these great qualities, there are other monitors out there with higher resolution. Okay. I will, you know, throw that out there, but I think four out of five stars is really right on target for class comparison here. And last point of review is going to be the price point. Okay. As of the date of this video release, this model retails for $189.99. With the Amazon Prime deal, it's going to be $149.99. I don't know how long that's going to last, so if you see this, you might want to hop on there and check it out. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I'd be willing to pay up to $200 for this model with the features that it has. So the price is right where I want it to be. So I'm going to give this price point a thumbs up and a 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, I was overjoyed at the price. Certainly willing to pay $200 if I had to. All right, folks, I appreciate you sticking in here to the end. I'm going to go ahead and give you the overall rating if you haven't already done the math in your head. So considering the features, you know, the pros, the cons, the class comparison, and the price point, I'm giving the interview um, external monitor 4.4 out of 5 stars. Not bad at all. If you're in the market for an extended monitor and you have a preference for a standalone monitor, I'm going to highly recommend the innovative 2023 model. I would buy it again, folks. Okay. The link to this model as well as the 4K model for comparison are in the description below. So if you got value from this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up so that the algorithm will know that it's been helpful and possibly recommend it to others who are looking for the same insight that was helpful for you. Again, I've been Kevin with Online Shopping My Way. Thank you for watching.